okay. So, um, uh, we're doing this again. So in my season one video, which if you haven't seen that video, you shouldn't be watching this one. Go watch that one now. I had a little part in the intro where I talked about how well the individual season one videos were doing. Little did I know that that full season one video would be the overall most successful video on my channel. So you can imagine my uncontrollable excitement when it was time to do the second season, because I like money. Overall, this season was pretty fun to make, even though it had its challenges. Uh, I just hope that you all really enjoy and leave a like. No, 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 please. It, it takes like 0.5 seconds and it actually helps a lot. Mr. Ivanov, welcome back to the developer's plane. I'm in the developer's service, my friend. How has my robotic army been treating you? Very well so far, but I will say they are quantity over quality. Don't even think about it. But that's not why I called you here. I need you to begin preparations for Project Reset. Is it time? Let's hope not. But we must prepare for the worst. I'll tell you more about our situation later. But I have other matters to attend to. Then I will be waiting inside. Leonard. You know, I prefer Charles. I don't care. Do we know if they're alive or not? We'll know as soon as the search party gets back. But if they are alive, there's something you should know. They don't remember anything. <laughs> Not even anything about the battle that you were all in. Battle? Is that what you people down in the little town of yours call what happened? Uh, it wasn't? No. It was a slaughter. Trying to wake up! I'm awake, you idiot! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I thought you were dead. Ah! Oh, what? That's for making me think you were street meat. Oh, well, it's not like I was trying to. How's your arm? Oh, it's fine. Just a scratch. That was a lie. This hurts really bad. Well, I bet you five bucks whoever those guys were are going to be looking for us. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, let me try that one more time. Crap. Oh, uh, why isn't it working? Okay, j just stay calm. STAY CALM! See? They are looking for us. Five bucks, pay up. Well, I never agreed to that bet. Well, you never disagreed either. Now hand over the Abe Lincoln. Do I look like I have money? I don't even know where I am. Fine. What's that? What's what? That light. Over there. Okay, let's just look at our other options before we go off and follow some random light. Yeah, good idea. What other options? Yeah, let's just go. <gasps> okay, grab my hand. I can't reach. And why would that be? Because <sighs> I have tiny arms. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
What is this place? Excuse me, can you tell me where we are? He's just sleeping. Howdy. You need a mechanic, or do you need a drink? Um, how about answers? Anything for a fellow reptile. What do you need to know? The name is Malchus Malige, at your service. Marcus? No, Malchus. What kind of name is Malchus? What kind of name is Marcus? Uh, a normal one? All right, that's enough. What the heck is this place? Well, it seems you've already had something to drink if you don't remember that. Ah, whatever. This is the Concepts Domain. Home of all failed or forgotten concepts. Concepts? What do you mean by concepts? What's with the chimp, huh? I'm an ape, you little salamander. A chimp is an ape. No! Wait, is it? <sighs> Look, we don't understand because we've never been here before. Can you just be a little more specific? Now that I think about it, I haven't seen you two around here before. Where are you boys from? Well, that's a hard question to answer. Well, that one Leonard guy said that we were from the Monsterverse. Did you say the Monsterverse? Uh, yeah. Why? What's wrong? Go to that booth in the corner over there. There's someone you might want to meet. Oh, and... I wouldn't leave this building if I were you. Just let me do the talking. But why do you get to do the talking? Because you always do the talking. It's my turn to do the talking. Okay, you do the talking then. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Just let me do the talking. <clears throat> Excuse me. It, it's you. You know us? get this straight. You don't remember us. You don't remember the universe we were all in, or the battle that destroyed that universe. Uh, no, not at all. Well, what do you remember? Him and the fact that I hate him. Same but towards him. Well, that's true. You two did butt heads a lot. Speaking of heads, uh, did you used to have three? Yeah, we lost him in the fight. We used to be able to regenerate, but we can't outside of our universe. It's been weird without him. I miss Kevin. Yeah, me too. He was kind of an idiot, though. Luckily, we were able to escape and hide in here for a few months until the heat died down. Thanks to our friend Marcus here. It's Malchus! That one guy we told you about called himself the Crimson Hunter. Know anything about him? Well, yeah, everyone here does. He's a bounty hunter. He's been working for the developer's militia for the last couple of days. It was probably because of you two. The developers know what It's an army of androids that basically run this place. Sounds like you've already met them when you guys were at the biomes. Wait, what are the biomes? These are biomes. In short, they're basically gateways to different universes. Now these universes are created when a concept such as you or me gets converted into more than just an idea. Like movies, books, TV shows, games, you name it. All of us are ideas of fiction. Thought of by people in the real world. So, this isn't the real world? No. Am I a ghost? Your stupidity hurts my brain. This whole world you see is split up into two levels. Concepts that never make the cut, or are forgotten by those who created them, get sent down here, to the 
concepts domain. See, this higher level R here is what they call the developer's plane. The malicious job is to make sure that we stay down here and don't get anywhere near those biomes. Protecting those universes is their number one goal, and they will do anything to make sure they don't interfere with each other. No one knows why this place exists, but it does. Wait, back up. You keep saying the developer. Who is that? Uh, what are you doing? Taking measurements. I've been trying to find the right design for a weaponized bodyguard I've been building, and your build is perfect for making the ultimate android. Should we be concerned? Wait, hold up. You said you were in a universe with us that we don't remember. Where is it now? It's gone. Once the militia found out that we could leave our biome, they destroyed it. I doubt anyone survived besides us four. But there's only three of us. I was counting him when I said that. Oh. I ruined the moment, didn't I? So, what now? Yeah. We don't have anywhere to go now that our home is gone. Well... It may not be completely. What you talking about, Willis? The militia always makes copies of biomes before they bring them down. And they keep all their copies here, in their fortress. If we could somehow get our biome file, we could plug it back in and maybe get our home back. But if we're planning on even stepping a foot inside that fortress, we're gonna need weapons. Like my axe? Yeah, but you don't have it anymore. I think I know where we can get one, but we need this to get there. The router? Yeah, but it's broken. It's almost as useless as him. It's because it's out of juice. If we can get back to the biomes and recharge it, we could at least get it working. Then we can set a course for where we need to go. Well, we have a plan, but how do we get up there? Follow me. We stole this ship a few months ago. This'll be our ride. Why didn't you just use your wings to fly? Would you fly out in the middle of restricted airspace with an army that's searching for you? Or would you just use their ships and blend in? Is this a trick question because I can't fly? You know, I've been wanting to name it, actually. I was thinking... The Millennium Falcon. Uh... That, that that's already a thing. You, you, you can't use that one. Okay, how about the USS Enterprise? No, oh, that's a thing too, bro. Yeah, you're terrible at this. Okay, what would you name the dang thing? Uh, Daniel Craig. Are you serious? You know, like the actor? I, I know who Daniel Craig is, but why would you name it that? I kind of like it. Sorry. Okay, let's just go. Send a message to Mecha Kong. Tell him we might have found the dragon. What's his number again? Uh, yo, G, what's this bag back here? That's my stuff. Don't touch it. Can I touch it now? No! Once we get to the biomes, we're gonna have to move quick if we don't want any unfriendlies showing up. Heh. <laughs> Me and Triangle eat unfriendlies for breakfast. Do you have any, like, string cheese or something? Wait, why does he keep calling you Triangle? It's just a stupid name he keeps calling me because he thinks I'm shaped like a triangle. Let's hope nobody finds the ship while we're gone. Now let's go get that axe. You know, this is the last place in the world I wanted to go back to. Router. Okay, it's working. Now where do we need to go? Set a course for the last place that we went to before we came here.
But it says MonsterVerse. I know, it, it's a different MonsterVerse. That's where the axe is. FINALLY! I never thought I'd see all of you together again. Thank you for making it easier to kill you. It's a Mecha, Mecha Monkey! Kong. Dude! Mecha Kong! I, I, I was gonna say Mecha Kong. Oh, I hope you don't mind that I brought some friends. I believe you've already met them. What the? Should we move? Oh, relax. Smug was tiny, remember? <laughs> nope, scratch that. He's big now. You will rue the day you called me Smug. Wasn't that like yesterday? Huh? Going up? Yeah! <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna slap you, scissor! <laughs> Itchy, now would be a very good time to leave. I'm working as fast as I can. Here, use this. But, but, but you said we can't touch the bag. Well, now your life depends on it, so use the bag! You know the deal, Starscream. Kill them, and I will put you all back where I found you. With pleasure. Oh, screw it. Huh? Oh, I'm not you again. I'm going to enjoy killing you. Slowly. Painfully. Ah! I wasn't finished! No, no. Ow! Oh, my pelvis! <sighs> Why do I have to do everything myself? Okay, it's ready! Did it work? Yeah, but we're gonna have to make a few stops before we get there. Wait, what? Uh, what? Hey! Man, that guy is ugly. Okay, bye bye. Guys, this isn't where we were supposed to go. I told you, we're gonna have to make a couple stops before we get there. Exactly how many stops do we need to take? Uh, I have no idea. Hold this. 
I'm gonna tie their necks into a pretzel. Ow. Stark, Thor, you go high. The rest of us will go low. Ah, oh, here we go again. Get up. Ha! Your ginormous size is no match for the power of Mjolnir! Again? Really? Merely a flesh wound. You will pay for that with your life, you two-headed fool! Odin's beard. Romanov, I don't think that's very effective against these guys. What? You can't mock me for trying to be helpful. Stark! You hear me? Deary? There's a missile headed straight for the city. How close? Three minutes. Tops. Huh. And I know just where to put it. Scared of heights. Son of a What? What? Don't look at me like that. But let's let's just go. Is it like this every time you guys teleport? No, usually it's face first in concrete, so sand is an improvement. Well, you saw that, right? Saw what? Something digging around in the sand, like a decrepit worm or something. Your mom's a decrepit worm. Okay, now you're just asking me to kick your- <laughs> I would say thank you, but this is really awkward. Get to the rocks! Oh, we're in Tremors, aren't we? I should check the remote and see. Yeah, and while you're at it, can you work on getting us out of here? Sheesh, so pushy. Where's the thingy? What thingy? You know, the, the remote thingy. Oh, that thingy. Where is it? Th that's what I'm trying to figure out, fool! Huh? 
Look what you did. That, well, me? Well, one of us has to go out there and get it. We could draw straws. Where would we get straws from? Why do you have to be right about everything, Jit? Okay, why don't we just all go? All right, we all go in three. One. Full send! I wasn't done counting. Just try to keep up, Noodle Nick. Noodle Nick? Move. If we all just stand still, they won't be able to sense us. But they already know we're here. Man, I just want to say something smart for once. Is that way too much to ask for? Well, he's dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Not today! Not today, you oversized parasite! <laughs> we gotta get him out of there. Yeah, maybe not get ourselves eaten in the process. Godzilla! Okay, now that's just gross. <laughs> oh, honestly, I'd rather get shot again than do that. You okay? Yeah, it's just... I thought I saw something. Saw what? Nothing. Let's just go. We found the dragon. The other two were with him. <laughs> What's up with the three stooges? They're here to help us. Speaking of which, where were you? I was on my lunch break. <sighs> what? What did I do? Hey, what are you looking at? Have you finished preparation? Almost. But without the router... I know. I'm working on that. He is waiting for you. Computer. Welcome, General. Can you hear me? Yes. Computer. Translate all of his messages through your vocal system. Of course, General. Hail Megacon. I'm sorry I could not speak to you in person, but I have a new project that I'm trying to finish. Now do you mind telling me why two of the concepts from your universe were walking around the city? How did you find out? I saw them with my own eyes. You were ordered to kill them, and yet they're still alive. I also know that Ghidorah was with them. At least tell me you stopped them from leaving. No. I'm starting to lose my confidence in you. You seem to forget your place. When we came to destroy your monsterverse biome, we found you at the foot of the breach. You begged and pleaded for us to spare you. And I allowed you and Mecha Godzilla to live and join the winning team. I even made you general of my militia. All you had to do was kill anyone inside of your universe who would pose a threat to us, and yet those two live. I excused your inability to stop the dragon from escaping, but those two were in your grasp, and yet you chose to keep them hidden from me. Making my army keep secrets from me, hiding those two morons inside of the replacement biome, and hiring a bounty hunter to track them down when they escaped. Tell me why you let them live in the first place. Curiosity. Those two had a rivalry in our universe. I wanted to know which one of them would win. You can at least understand that. Luckily for you, I do. 
But that's no excuse for why Mecha Godzilla would interfere with their fighting. How was I supposed to know that Mecha would go inside? And due to his actions, they escaped the cube and are now teleporting through the biomes with my router. My router. It is likely they will seek revenge for our actions. Not to worry about that. I had their memories erased. The only thing they remember is their hatred towards each other. But Ghidorah could tell them everything. He probably already has. They cannot run forever. We will find them and put them in the ground. Not necessary. If you pursue, they will just keep escaping from you. I say we wait till they return and bring them to us. How? I have an idea. You know, nobody in town has seen the developer before. Can you tell me what he looks like? Mm, no. Do you know when Kanye's dropping his next album? Please shut up. Okay. Mr. Ivanov, you will continue with Project Reset. We'll have the router soon enough. Yes, sir. Hey, boss. I hope you don't mind me asking, but... What is Project Reset? I did not hire you to ask questions, Leonard. If you're not careful, you'll lose more than just your pay. Understood, sir. Pyramid-shaped butt off of me. Um. Yeah, that's not me. You sure? But what do you mean? Am I sure? I'm standing over here. <laughs> oh, great! Another version of me. Dude, how many versions of me are there? Well, how did you kill the other Godzillas? Uh, we didn't? Wait, what? Okay, we need a plan. I've got it! Aerial attack! <laughs> I like it! Wait, wait, hold on, is that something I do? Eh, actually, that's my move. But you can fly? Well, no, but he will when I throw him. I don't like this idea. <laughs> Take this, you jungle! <laughs> nice. Thanks. A good gravy. Let's do this.
Ross Woya. Fly now? They fly now! I don't know what just happened, but dang do I want to do it again! Give me the comm check, please. Testing, testing. It's it's still a little muffled. I, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll be able to fix it once we get back. It's not. David. What? Did you seriously bring a Polaroid to work? Well, yeah. I, I just wanted to take a couple of good pictures, you know? You know you can't show that to anybody outside this building, right? Well, I know. It, it's just for fun. Here, let me see that for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. That felt unnecessary. You disgust me. Some bad news, the screen is completely fried. If so if the motion sensors did pick up anything, we won't be able to see it. Monkey! Okay. You guys heard that, right? <clears throat> heard what? I don't know, it just it sounded like somebody screaming. I didn't hear anything. My right, guy! Come check this out! What is it? I don't know. It's it's not any of our equipment. They appear here. Somebody left it here. David! What? Okay, 
you know what? I'm gonna, gonna make sure. Hey, hey careful, 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 dude. Relax, I got whoa. it. Whoa. You know what it is? Yeah, it's. I don't know. I don't know what it does. It's oh, probably yeah, like a garage right. door open or something. I wouldn't know that. Ah! Yeah. That's some Star Trek crap right there. What the heck was that? How do you expect any of us to know? You gotta get this thing back to async staff. Hey! Oh! All right, Hazmat, hand it over. Please don't eat me. Eat you? No, I'll wait. Oh, I found you. Oh, sorry, I thought I heard a grown man screaming. Yeah, you were probably hearing the living banana. I'm not a banana! I'm a grown man wrapped in plastic! Look, buddy, unless you want me to turn you to a pile of ash, I suggest you hand it over. We don't want to be here any longer than we need to. Hold on, what's that thing behind you? That's what I get for skipping leg day. You think Kyle's okay? There you are. My face hurts so much. Yeah, your face hurts me too, by the way. <laughs> ah! I... I'm you! What, and you're me! Why are we each other? No. No, 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 this can't be happening! Ah! <laughs> ah! I don't want to be monkey. What, you think you've got it hard? I look like the pyramid of Giza! Alright, let's think. Something must have happened with the router that when we went through the portal, it switched our bodies. Ugh, then why weren't we affected? Yeah. Trippy. Then how on earth are we supposed to switch our bodies back? Oh! oh, this can't be happening. How am I supposed to get chicks if I have these tiny little noodle arms? I don't even want to talk about the tale! I have become the very thing that I swore to destroy. <sighs> oh, I feel sick. <laughs> Woo! I feel so reduced. Do I even have an opinion anymore? What? Hey, I heard that, you jerk! <laughs> what are you, crazy? You could've... Could've hurt... yourself. Well, what are you doing? Oh, I think you got a black eye, brother. Ooh, you don't think I see what you're doing? Oh, you're gonna feel that one later. Oh, yeah? Oh, dude, I think I broke your foot. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's definitely dislocated. And you're gonna need some ice after this one. Oh, you think that's funny? Ow, ow, ow. You know, I don't really see the point of doing this. Uh, going down. Wait, no, 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 no! Oh! oh. oh, 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 oh. Not good. 
good. Oh man, I'm still you. We've got other problems. Where's Noodle Neck? What? We're over here. Oh man, it's just out cold. Why are you still laying there? We gotta move. Well, I can't. This body needs both heads to work. Seriously? Let's just drag him. On three. Three! Wait, why'd you skip one and two? like you, but way cooler. Okay, first off, how dare you? Second, you've got to do something. Why me? Well, because Big Bird over here can't even stand up, and I'm stuck inside of your stupid monkey body. Come on, man. I don't even know how to use your atomic breath. Look, it's easy. Just focus your eyes straight on your target and put your mind to it. These instructions are oversimplified. Don't question my teaching methods. You've got this, bro. cross-eyed or something? Dang, bro, you're just enormous. Mm, you're just like me. You could speak? Yes. And now you will listen. This world belongs to me, and I refuse to share it with an inferior species. But would you share with a giant monkey? What? Master of Stealth! I'm sorry. Dude, why can't you be that cool? But, but, it, 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 it. <sighs> Oh, come on, Itchy, wake up, man, they need us. <laughs> what? Oh, screw you, man, I'll do this myself. I can feel your power. It feels great. It feels stronger. Hey, big guy. You like that? You better hope you're still pretty without your teeth. See? That's how it feels! What the... What's going on? Well, in short, that big scary thing over there is trying to kill us. Don't worry, I've got this. No way, don't! Just dug your own graves. 
Wait, I have a terrible memory. When did I do this? It's a metaphor. Well, joke's on you. I don't even know what that word means. Hey, Chunky! Eat! Rock! kidding me? The last time you blasted him, you basically turned him into the Ender Dragon! Okay, so how else are we supposed to beat this guy? But since when do we have to beat every monster we face? I mean, we could just grab the router and skedaddle! Oh, guys! He's killing us! We should probably help him. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Give him back! Never! This is worse than before! You can't hide forever! We're gonna need these back. <laughs> Yo, hey, you all good? Yeah, tip top. <sighs> Hey, you know, this body isn't as horrifyingly insufferable as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> 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 uh, wait, what? Hey, we switched back! Aw, oh, man. I liked being in the middle. Well, look at the bright side. 
At least you're not in Kevin's spot. So where do you think we are now? I don't know. If I had to guess from what I can just see, I'd say... No! <laughs> Without finishing this fight? I am your doom, you pathetic lizard! Ow! Time out very quick. What? But there are no timeouts. I'm trying to murder you. Look, gee, I've been fighting nonstop for days. I mean, come on, couldn't you use a breather? Of course not, because I'm not a wussy. Oh, come on, man, just for three minutes. That's a no.
Boy, check it out. Yeah, one of these boys is still alive. Wait, hold your fire. We'll keep them alive for now. I have something I want them to do first. It's not worth it. What? <clears throat> Where are you going? You're sparing me? No. Wait. Stop! <clears throat> We're not finished yet. Doesn't have to end this way, you know. I decide when I'm done fighting. What happened? Yeah, you just disappeared, man. What, is everything fine? No, actually, it's not. W what do you mean? I... I remember. I remember what happened that day. They... They killed everyone. Mika Kong and Zilla... They helped them. They both knew that we wouldn't survive the militia's attack. So they joined what they thought was the winning side. It took us months to try and forget what happened. I'm sorry that you had to remember. We need to keep moving. Yeah, I just need some time to think. I'll meet up with you guys later. How's your leg? I'll live. Hmm. You hear that, right? Hear what? Nothing. Complete silence. Yeah, it seems really hard to come by these days. At least for us. So, how'd you beat him? Yeah, I decapitated him. <laughs> nice. Do you remember that one time that I sliced that dragon thing in half? Uh, must have missed that. Do you remember that one time that you killed Optimus Prime? 
Oh, you just had to bring that little bit up, didn't you? Sorry. They can't get away with what they did to us. They need to pay. They all do. You know, the other day at the cliffside, I thought you were dead. I didn't know what I was going to do after that. I mean, you were the only thing familiar to me. The only friend I had. You're not alone, you know. You still have us. It's only a matter of time. They will burn for what they've caused. They think that their will to win will be their key to success. But it will be that very arrogance that condemns them to their fate. They think that this is a game of heroes and villains in which they are in the right. But there are only people doing what they need to do to keep this balance. And right now, that balance is under siege. They don't belong anywhere. Let them keep going. That hope that drives them will consume them.